I would say it went by fast. I thought I would never get out of here. <laughs> they, yeah, there was times that I thought I was never gonna get out of here. Yeah, practice was never gonna end. And there's been times like that, but it's almost done now. And it's sad. When I step on this carpet, I just think about, I'm gonna do whatever I can do. That, that's what that carpet means to me. And a lot of these guys, I mean, Deshaun, KJ, and other players before that, great players walked on that carpet, so. With that love that they show us, that's how we go through these hard days, you know? When you lose, win, you get three hour practice, you're sore, you don't wanna walk, but you still get up and do your job. And that's, that's why those fans are, you know, they loving us. If I thought that he was just, you know, another coach, I couldn't take what he was doing to me. You know what I mean? Yelling at me, coming at my face like this. I mean, nobody dared to come at my face like this. And, I mean, if anybody wants to try it, they can try it. You know, I'm in campus walking around, but nobody can get that close to me. And I'm really stubborn like he is. So that's why we always had that you know, he's yelling at me, I'm looking at him, I'm saying something back, and he's saying something back. But in the end, we both know that we're not disrespecting each other in any way. He knows that I love him so much, and I know that he, love, he loves me, so. When I get out of here, I won't regret um, any of the games that I played. I don't have any regrets about like, I wish I played harder. I have regrets on, I wish I shot it better, or I wish I had my head up, or stuff like that, which is, you know, fundamental stuff. But I never had, I never came in here and like, I don't wanna play today. Never happened. Uh, it was really important for me to, you know, get my own life. I was always like really independent kid. I mean, I love my mom and dad, and uh, I'm the only child, and I was I was spoiled in some ways. An American kid wouldn't think that's spoiled, but a Turkish kid probably would think that is spoiled, you know. And um, uh, I love my mom and dad, but at the same time, I. I wanted to have my own life. I wanted to do stuff that like nobody really does. When I had the opportunity to come here, I had two choices. I could go pro, make a lot of money, and I could come here and just get in something totally new and I didn't even know what was gonna happen. I like that. I like random stuff, so I just end up coming here. And it worked out for me well. It was it was really hard in the beginning. Of course, English and everything was a challenge. But I guess I'm smart, man. <laughs> it took me like two months to really get a hold of things, you know, start understanding people, having conversations with people. And after that, I start loving it because I can play the music I want to play. I play basketball. On top of that, I'm playing for hugs. And I, it couldn't get any better. But if I didn't take that risk, I would never, I would never be able to see any of you guys. I cried every time like we let our seniors go, you know? And that is, it is gonna be really sad. 
not because, you know, college, I'm done. It's not like I'm not gonna play basketball. What we have here is just, we all, I've been in part of, part of teams that played for this state and for this school with such heart that you don't have that in pros most of the time. They take care of themselves because they have to. I'm not judging them for doing this. Of course, that's being professional. But the whole last year I played with the hip injury, you know? And I'm so proud that I did that. That's one of the things that I'll tell everybody, tell my kids, tell everybody I meet. Joe played with a horrible shoulder injury and shoot it with his right hand in the free throw line. And we went to Final Four. He played against Kentucky and he totally destroyed him. Deshaun, before I came here, he um, had an ankle problem. His ankle is all swollen, he can't even walk. He goes in the game, scores 41 points. That's what it's all about. I love this state. I love this university. I love the people. People in West Virginia, the state of West Virginia, are nice people and they're just um, honest with everything. That's why I played as hard as I could play every time I played here. And every time I played here, I had so much fun.